James Raisbeck founded his own aviation company, supplying performance-increasing modifications to aircraft, and went on to become a philanthropist, supporting secondary and collegiate education. So I'm James Raisbeck, a graduate of Purdue University, 1961, and uh, I went on to uh, ultimately found and be chairman of the board of Raisbeck Engineering, Inc., which still exists in Seattle, although now I'm chairman of Emeritus due to my advancing age. But they still let me come to work. And one of the reasons they let me come to work is because I still enjoy the process at 82 of problem solving, which is one of the big, big capabilities that Purdue taught me when I was here. Because of Purdue that I was able to land the position that I got at Boeing in 1961 in aerodynamics research. I think for me that was a giant leap. That was the leap that got me a head start in industry. Uh, at Raysbeck Engineering, the team there is dedicated to breathing new life into already existing airplanes, whether it be a 737, 727, A320 Airbus, King Air, Learjet, Sabreliner, Textron uh, Caravan. They all need some kind of improvement. One of the things we are concentrating on is education. But in education, we have in Seattle a public high school now named Raysbeck Aviation High School. And I had supper with eight of the graduates of Raysbeck Aviation High School last night here at Purdue University. And uh, they're just getting started. Purdue University has become a focal point at our high school in Seattle and it is paying off, certainly for those students, students certainly for those students and, and uh, also for the university. That was James Raisbeck. Look for more stories at purdue.edu slash footprints.